And then I keep saying this thing. Look, fluffy slippers. I'm gonna cook some breakfast. Maybe if Damiano David would ring my doorbell, be on my doorstep and said, let's live together, let's get a dog. Okay, I'll do it, but not now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brit. In this video, I'm finally going to do these your assumptions about me and I'm going to look at them, see what you guys think of me. And we're just going to talk about it a little bit. I made myself a cup of coffee. I am wearing this cool leather jacket because I've been listening a bit too much to Moneskin. I think I'm pronouncing that right. The winners from Eurovision. <laughs> kind of obsessed. Please let me know I'm not the only one. I don't think so, but yeah, I'm digging just my second day hair. It's looking good. I'm happy, got my coffee. <sighs> Let's take a look at some of your assumptions about me. I got quite a few. I'm not going to talk about all of them. That would be too much, but yes, let's take a look. You sometimes find it exhausting speaking English in your vlogs because it's not your mother tongue. Tongue? Tongue. Not really, actually. The only thing that I find annoying is if I can't find the right word. And like, I know what I want to say, but I just can't figure out the English word for it. And then I keep saying this thing or, you know, that over there and then I don't like that because I just want to say everything properly but I don't really get tired of speaking English because it just comes quite naturally because I've spoken English so much in my life so I think I'm more comfortable speaking English in vlogs because I'm just so used to it compared to speaking Dutch. I have literally no reason to think this but I feel like you're obsessed with fluffy slippers. <laughs> I think you sometimes unconsciously saw it in my vlog because okay look fluffy slippers. I wear them all the time. I assume you are a thousand times happier after making your art job your full-time job. My art shop my full-time job. Yes, I am loving this so much. I love waking up every morning and just being able to decide what I want to do for myself and not having to go to an office and just doing all the things that I love doing and actually living of this, which is just amazing. And I'm still so happy, incredibly happy and incredibly grateful that I'm able to do this full time. And it's all thanks to you. It literally is all thanks to you. So I am definitely so much happier. And I was definitely very happy before that. It's not like I was, wasn't happy or something, but this just made me extra happy. I assume that you would stop being friends with someone who hurt you, not because you're afraid of confrontation, but you only want to see them in a good light. So you just part ways with them and wish them the best. There is like truth in this, but I do give people second chances. Like it depends on what they did. I luckily have never really had something very bad or hurtful happen to me from a friend. I don't shy away from confrontation. If someone does something to me that hurts me, I definitely tell them and I give people second chances, but you know, just don't mess up again after that. I assume you haven't done manual labor before. I have no reason to think this, but it's something I would assume about you. Um, well, not like really tough manual labor as in building things, but I have worked in the supermarket when I was like, um, 14 until I was like 20 something quite old and I worked there a really long time and I stocked shelves so that's a little bit of like manual labor I had to carry quite heavy boxes sometimes but it's not like extreme but I have done that so kind of I think you sing to yourself <laughs> yes definitely I sing all of the time and just dancing in my living room and stuff I always sing along to songs I sometimes feel a bit like Jess from New Girl just singing when I'm doing something I'm gonna cook some breakfast. And I can't sing, as you can probably tell. That you are always calm. That is not true. <laughs> oh, like generally I'm quite a calm person, but sometimes something small can happen and it just makes me very irritable. Is that the right word? If something irritates me a lot, I can get like, mm, you know, sometimes it's just a small thing that makes me not so calm. <laughs> but overall, I just try to be calm because, you know, it feels better to be just calm and try to not worry about things too much because I always think to myself, like if I worry about something, I just make it worse. Whereas 90% of the time, if you worry about something, the thing that you're worrying about is not even going to happen. So I always try to think that to myself, like why do I worry about something that's in the future and it probably won't even happen, you know, the thing that I'm worrying about. So generally I am quite calm, but Sometimes not so much. You love to live alone and not at your parents' house anymore. Well, I do love living alone, but I do miss my parents sometimes. And I like going back to visit my old home, but I like just living here by myself and being able to just decide everything myself and just having all of this space all for myself. So yeah, I definitely like living alone. I'm trying to go through this quite quickly because I don't want to give like too long answers. 
you majored in art in college and you are a successful artist living off of it. I never did anything with art in like high school or university, but I, when I was younger, I just always drew a lot and my dad and my grandpa, and they can draw and paint so well. So I think I kind of got it from them and I actually just learned everything myself. I never took any art classes, so... It was just definitely a lot of practice and a lot of failing and then practicing some more and I am kind of living off my art which is so freaking cool it's just like everything in my shop is what I created and designed and that is the majority of my income so I am definitely living my dream which is so amazing and just creating these videos which is also a form of art and like content creation so yeah I didn't major in it but I did like I'm living off it now which is so cool you are a vegetarian well I'm not a vegetarian as in I'm labeling myself as a vegetarian but I do eat vegetarian I think 95% of the time I think it's so easy to just cut out meat but there are some instances for example with Christmas or if I'm at a restaurant where I suddenly feel like eating meat I do eat meat but just here at home by myself I never eat any meat and I think it is just so easy to do and it's a lot better for the environment so that's why I do it. And also vegetarian food is so good and they have just so many options now in the supermarket. So yes, I'm not a vegetarian, but I do eat a lot of vegetarian. That you want to be a minimalist, but can't. Speaking from experience, lol. Yes, that would be very, like I'm always very interested in this lifestyle, just having a very minimalist environment and a mind, you know, but I just like stuff. And I'm a very bad impulse buyer. So yeah, it would be cool to, live a more minimalistic lifestyle and I do think a lot about items that I own and I think like do I still want or need this in my life? You're a good singer too. Haha, <laughs> no. <laughs> you just heard it, I really can't sing. I wish I could but I can't. You're not the biggest fan of pets. You like them but wouldn't have one yourself. That is very correct. I am just not really a big pet person. The thing is I really like just pets in general and I think they're very cute although not like devil cats who just scratch you if you want to just pet them and then suddenly they go crazy but cute dogs and stuff and those really lovely dogs like Labradors and Golden Retrievers I think they're so precious and I love them but I just don't want them in my house because I just hate cat hair and dog hair to be everywhere and on my couch and I just don't like that. So I like them in other people's houses but not in my own home. Like never say never. Never say never. But I don't think I will own a pet anytime soon. Maybe if Damiano David would ring my doorbell, be on my doorstep and said, let's live together, let's get a dog. Okay, I'll do it, but not now. You feel comfortable in your own skin. I definitely feel comfortable in my own skin, but there are of course some insecurities that so many people have, but I've come to accept so many of them over the past few years, which I'm so happy about. So generally I'm very comfortable in my own skin and I'm so happy that I've learned to accept the things that I wasn't comfortable with. For example, I'm a brunette, you know, I have dark arm hair and that's just the way it is. And when I was like in high school, I would absolutely hate it and I would just want to cover it up, wear long sleeves and I'm just like oh my god it is only arm hair, you know, those type of things. So yeah, I've totally grown to love my body and just accept me for who I am a lot more over the past few years. You seem so happy as if you never had any sad day. That is not true, <laughs> like I'm generally quite a happy person but I sometimes have those days where I can just cry over the littlest things. I just feel super sad and just wanna watch Netflix all day and pretend like I'm in a sad movie. I'm definitely not happy 24 seven, but I do like to think of the positive things and just try to enjoy the little things in life. Like sitting here with my coffee, looking outside the window, just looking at nature and, you know, trying to enjoy the little things in life. But yeah, I definitely have my sad days. That you barely spend time on your phone. Shall we take a look at my weekly report? My average per day from last week was four and a half hours. I really have to do this challenge of just not going on my phone for a day or a week. But Instagram is just so addictive. You have never had short hair. Well, I never had like short, short hair as in like a pixie cut, but I have had hair until my shoulders. I will insert a photo here. And one day I might go back to it. My mom is always telling me to go back to it, but 
I have grown out my hair, look how long it is. And I'm just loving this length a lot. So I'm going to see how long I can grow because I like just this beachy waves hairstyle. But maybe one day I will go back to like the shorter and then have like these kind of curls as well, which I also love. But for now, I'm gonna keep it long because I like it long like this with my fringe. This is like my favorite hairstyle. You've got your shit together and you're always the one who is early to a date. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I definitely have my shit together, but that is just because I like planning things, making sure everything works, making sure I pay everything in time, keeping track of everything, like my expenses and stuff. And 99% of the time I am early. If there's one pet peeve in the world, it's people who are late. Of course, if you're late because of an accident or the bridge was open, you know, or you had a flat tire, no problems. But people who are late just because they're late, and they didn't look at the time. That is my biggest pet peeve in the world. <laughs> so I am always early and yes, to a date as well. If you're happy you're from the Netherlands, you wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I'm definitely very happy I'm from the Netherlands, but when I was like young, I always wanted to live in London because it is my favorite city in the world. But now, I don't know, over the years, I've come to realize that I really love the Netherlands and I think it's just such a fun country to live in. It's just very small and cozy and I like the people and, I do wish the weather was a little bit better sometimes, not as much rain, but overall I'm really happy to live in the Netherlands. You are an introvert. I definitely feel like I'm more of an introvert than an extrovert, but it also really depends on the people I'm with. I feel like I'm a bit awkward when meeting new people and just being with a big group of people um, whom I don't know very well, but when I'm with close friends I'm a lot more just extroverted. But I think generally I'm more of an introvert. You sometimes feel limited in your booktube career because you live in the Netherlands. That's quite true. A lot of the big like bookish events happen in America and in the UK. Um, so it's not like I could just easily go there. And of course, because of the language. But overall, um, I found out that also companies and stuff, I thought maybe companies don't want to work with me because I'm from the Netherlands, but I've hardly had tr trouble with that, which is also so great. They're willing to send products, for example, all the way to the Netherlands. And I thought that would be one of the main things as well. But no, it's all going very well. And although I do wish to visit one of these big book events one day, for now, it is going very well. I think you are very precise. Things need to be in their place or it bothers you. That is very correct. Like during the day, my apartment can get quite messy or like messy for my, like in my terms. But at the end of the day, I always put everything back where I belong so that the next day I wake up and my apartment is just clean and tidy and everything has its place. If I get something new, I make sure that I find a place for it so that it won't just hang around on my coffee table or, you know, on my dining table. So I'm definitely very precise. You were the smartest kid in your class. Well, not in high school, but in middle school, I was quite smart. Like I just, I learned quite easily. So just the work, I could finish it quite fast and just with reading and stuff. Um, so yeah, in middle school, I was the smart kid. But then in high school, I was just like a medium sort of. I didn't have the best grades, but I didn't have the worst grades as well. Um, I think if I did more effort, I could have gotten higher grades, but it's high school and you just want to hang out with your friends and go to parties and stuff. So yeah, may have wasted a little bit of good grades there, but it's fine. You wake up early because you force yourself to. I do wake up early, but I don't force myself to wake up early because I just naturally wake up early and I always have, and I always will, hopefully. I just tend to wake up between 6 and 6.30 every day, no matter what time I go to bed. <laughs> That's something quite annoying, but it's just, I wake up early and I think my body knows that I love waking up early. So I wake up early, naturally, because the mornings are definitely my favorite time of day. You don't drink a lot of alcohol. That's not true. <laughs> it's not like I drink a lot of alcohol, but I do like to have a beer now and again, or a glass of wine, and definitely going out with friends and just going to a bar or having drinks. I just like trying out new drinks and cocktails and stuff, but it's not like I'm drinking alcohol every day by myself, but I do like to have some drinks here and there with friends. That you come across quite casual to people, but you're actually highly organized. I like that one i think that's quite true although i do think that when people meet me they feel that i'm quite an organized person although i'm not sure if people like know me in real life who watch this video let me know in the comments if i come across as like casual for example if i'm out with friends or like shopping with friends and someone's like oh i cut my finger i need a band-aid 
I'm the one who has a band-aid, those type of organized things. I always carry this little pouch with me with just everything that a person might need during the day, like extra contact lenses or a band-aid or some aspirin or I don't know, you know, those type of things. In that sense, I'm very organized, but I do think I come across quite casual. I don't know, this is a fun one. Let me know in the comments. You weren't popular in high school. Um, well, I wasn't like the popular kid, but we didn't really have those kids in high school that were the super popular ones but i wasn't like unpopular we had just had this group in high school and we would always just organize parties together and that was just the best thing ever every weekend someone else would just kind of sacrifice their house for a house party those were the good old days i really would like to do high school all over again actually i thought high school was awesome you are tall given that you're from the netherlands yes i'm very tall i am five feet eleven and let me see, I have this photo somewhere, which is funny. And you can really see how tall I am. I'm going to try to cover the faces. And these are two English friends and an Austrian friend. And look how tall I am. <laughs> I'm like a head taller. Yes, I'm very tall. But Dutch people are the tallest in the world. And that's just the way it is. But luckily, most of my friends are tall as well. So I don't feel like I'm very tall. Okay, and then... The last one is, I think that you aren't interested in any sport events like the Olympics or championships and you don't watch it. That is quite true. I just don't really like sports. I don't really like playing sports. I don't really like watching sports. The only thing that I like watching is like the um, world championship and European championship football because we watch that with friends. But that's actually it. I don't really watch many sport events like ever. Okay, these were a lot of assumptions. This was so much fun. And if you want to know anything more or if you have another assumption about me, let me know in the comments and I can just answer it in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. I loved going through this. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment uh, a coffee emoji. And I think it's so fun just seeing those comments. And I know it's sometimes difficult, you know, if you don't know what to comment. So comment a little coffee emoji. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on my social media and on my Patreon page. I always link everything down below in the description. And last but not least, I really hope you have a beautiful day and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!